Hi, and welcome to this section of the Unit Conversion Tutor. And in this section, we're going to move away from the length that we were talking about in the last section, converting units of length. And we're going to extend that a little bit, and we're going to talk about surface area, converting units of surface area in this section. And to give you kind of a preview, we'll be talking about converting volume elements in the next section. So we did length. Now we're going to extend that a little bit to area, and then we're going to extend it a little bit more in the next section onto volume, okay? So I, I broke it into three sections like that because even though they seem to be totally different units, units of area, units of volume, units of length, you'll find out here in just a minute that once you know how to deal with it, you already have the tools that you, have, you know right now from the last section to handle any of these area conversions and any of these volume conversions that we're going to get to in the next section, okay? So there's not going to be anything really new to learn here as far as magical tricks to deal with surface area. You're going to find out that the same method I've been teaching you all along is going to t teach you and, and allow you to tackle those kinds of problems. So it's not going to be a big deal at all. But before we get into that, uh, I want to briefly review to you what, you know, what is surface area. And before we do that, I'll show you that on the board here, uh, I haven't even erased what we just finished using in the last section dealing with length. We, we have our unit conversions of feet to miles and feet to yards and inches to feet and so on here and the link between English and metric being one mile to 1.6 kilometers, okay? I haven't erased it because we don't actually need any new information at all to deal with surface area and that's exactly the point of it here. Once you know how to deal with it as far as the, the technique I'm showing you here, drawing that horizontal line and, and letting your units cancel, you don't need any more information than this to, to tackle those problems. So let's talk about that here. Let's review briefly what surface area really is, okay? What you have, uh, let's just draw a little picture. Let's draw a little rectangle, okay? When we have, forgetting about this rectangle for a second, when we have a unit of length, we have something laid out in front of you, and we say it's this long, okay? So you take a ruler or a meter stick or something and you put it next to it and you mark your fingers and you say, okay, this one is you know, 0 0.5 meters long or you can call it a, you know, 50 centimeters long or 2 feet long or whatever unit you're dealing with. It doesn't matter, but you, you're looking in one direction. That's what length is. Okay? Area is when you're just starting to look in two, two dimensions and that would be kind of analogous to you know, if you're trying to, to, to figure out how long something is, you put a, a ruler or a meter stick up to it to figure out how long it is. If you're interested in trying to paint a wall, something that has a two-dimensional area, we call it, we, we call that a surface area, that would be trying to calculate maybe, for instance, how much paint you would need, not only to go in one direction here, going this way, but also to go up and down. You're looking at the entire rectangle, so to speak, of that wall. So it's more than just looking in one direction. You're looking 